All right, chat, I'm back. Let's go ahead and uh, continue with this here. Where's he oh, been ledger. delivering? And who's been delivering here? Any repeat business in the ledger, Cole? Polar Bear Ice Company. Why is Ramez buying so much ice? Melanotti is buying a lot of furniture. Where's that trail of water coming from, Cole? There must be a way through the back. I guess Welcome we'll keep going this way. Village, where taste comes to die. What a pile of junk. My mother would be in heaven. I bet this is the kind of crap you love, Cole. 20 years out of fashion. <laughs> Why is there actually so much water? Smell the old people in here. This is useless. I can't see a damn thing. You need to get up onto the floor above. I so I was supposed to go up here. So like pick up and drop these. a lot of work just to get into this one room. I'm gonna move this out the way just in case. The door's already open. Wrong ones. I thought that was the door on the left. I literally grabbed the two that I didn't have to grab. it down. Go 
Going down. I think we know where the water's coming from. You're gonna want to see this. <laughs> There's something frozen inside. Polar Bear Ice Company. Haha, <laughs> just in time. LAPD, leave it right there. Everyone out of the vehicle and put your hands up. There's something in the ice. He's making a run for it. Let him have it. I didn't realize he grabbed a shotgun. Take them all to Hollywood Station. Have the ME and tech services go over this place. Where will you be? Hunting polar bear. <laughs> Can you drive to this one? Fine, where are we headed? Lead the way. Is Audi serious? Is the LAPD turning a blind eye to narcotics? Keep your shirt on, Phelps. Drugs are prohibited. Doesn't mean people don't want to take them. Limiting supply doesn't mean that we have limited demand. I understand that. I know that the average Joe needs to unwind him and let his hair down at the end of the week, but morphine? Heroin? It's important to demonize Hop Phelps. It looks good in the papers. But when all is said and done, it's just another chemical like booze. A lot of people in high places think we're doing the city a favor by keeping the dope rolling into Central Avenue. Donnelly certainly believes we need to keep them anesthetized. Better jobs and opportunities would go a lot further. Will you listen to yourself? <laughs> the factory is closed. Has been for years. How much call for ice anymore with all those newfangled refrigerators? Save it for someone who wants to hear it. How many <laughs> janitors carry a gat? Hey, boomer. Damn. That's one way of announcing we're here. Give it up, Finkelstein. Your brother-in-law will get you a good lawyer. My brother-in-law hates my guts. Come and get me if you want some daylight through that suit of yours. Eyes open. Throw out the gun. Oh god, I didn't see him. So loud. Take 
cover, you little Wait, dick. what side is he on? They're all dead, Finkelstein. Leave the weapon and put your hands up now. Put my hands up? Sure. Then what? Cop to peddling the dope? Cut a deal? Ship me off to the queue? As soon as I get locked up, some old friend puts a, an ice pick above my ear? No thanks. Only one other way out, shit heel. Let's have a look around. Now that we've finally got some peace and quiet. I think I've had enough ice. This stuff has got to be worth at least a hundred grand. Damn. So Finkelstein robbed the ship? My guess is Lenny took it off their hands. This is big. This is going to make the papers, Phelps. As senior investigator, I'll do the talking. <laughs> well, All well. from a factory that's been that closed Roy for a year, supposedly. New partner would have turned out to be such a great case man. This is a good result, Phelps. As far as we can tell, Lenny the Fink was moving the morphine across the city and as far north as Frisco. This uh. makes the feds very happy, and it makes Mickey Cohen look bad. I won't lie to you, kid. I like the headlines. I like them a lot. You keep this squad in the papers, and we'll get along just fine. Nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Reefer Madness. Pretty sure this is one of the uh, DLC missions. You know a Freddie Calhoun? Sure, I know Freddie. Freddie needs money to get out of town. Says he's prepared to blow the whistle on a primo reefer distribution ring. Says he Has can... Has he said how much it's going to cost? 50 bucks. And the department will front me the 50? You can put in an expense claim. He's over at Mike Lyman's on Hollywood Boulevard. See what you can find out. Need a drink. I got the jitters again. Interview Freddie Calhoun. All right. Fifty bucks? Do they think I'm made of money? No, you just look like you're made of money. <laughs> oh, very good. The kid's on form. I'd say on a scale of dull to scintillating, you're a solid tedious today. If you can be pleased. Do you ever listen to yourself? I don't have the same voices in my head as you do, Paul. Grown men. You can drive. Playing at being bored. I love making them drive. <laughs> it's so much easier. Mike Lyman's Bar, 10.13 a.m. There's a the little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. You want a tip? Fill my coffee faster next time, honey. Advice? Take a seat with Fred. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, mm. right here. 20? I said. You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Brass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? Get stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. Now be careful. He likes guns. Now do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. 
That cherry pie was beautiful. Let's go visit this cruise character. All right. 50 pounds of dope. Crazy. Now showing crossfire. You know the way. You can drive. Juan Garcia right, Cruz. Be so nice. <laughs> you guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. He opened fire, and well, the rest of the story tells itself. things out of circulation. Yep, that's him. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. I don't think we're going to find much on his arms, but you can never look too much. I always wonder, they never, um, they never check like pants pockets or anything like that. Thompson. this is this a drug or a village Thank in you. doesn't appear to be in Spanish this isn't what we're looking for oh, there's all of his ammo Dictionary. <laughs> oh, wait. Arnell's Soup Company. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. Hmm. Arnell is only 12 cents. These are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. Jeez, this house is really run down. Doesn't tell me anything. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. More soup.
Uh, here we go. A ledger. Call in whatever we need to call in. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, batch 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Parnell Soup Company, a head office or factory in the Los Angeles area. Just a second, Detective. Only one address listed. 6310 Fountain Avenue. Thanks. There it is. That's what I think I've seen it all. I need to get back to it, Phelps. Any clues or anything? Extra clues? Detectives, you'll want to come meet Mr. Fickman, the neighbor. Sounds like he's got something for you. Oh, out back. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to help us. probably has something in it oh god huh. Phelps you jump like a girl <laughs> <coughs> he, he probably jumped too Stuck. <gasps> now we're getting somewhere more soup you hungry or something, Phelps? Well, there you go. Imagine going to the store and you open up cents. soup and you get this instead. <laughs> Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> Ledger. There we go. With Juan dead, we need a new suspect. <laughs> Tijuana. This guy EJ seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. The dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. Nice. Got a witness we can speak with. All these people are vultures, officer. But you can tell me what's going on. All these cops. Gotta be something big. This guy? Maybe not that guy. He said somebody knows something. Let me through. I just want a quick look is all. It's not this guy? I 
keep an eye on the neighborhood. I gotta run along now. This is a crime scene. All of you move along. Clear this area immediately. Isn't that the cop who solved the big Any case? Any ideas? Help me out. The soup factory. Where else? He just said somebody wants to speak. One of the neighbors. I don't know where he went, though. Do you know where the neighbor went? Another day, another dollar. I hope they didn't despawn. Find anything interesting? <sighs> we went through here. I guess maybe I shouldn't have gone out front first. People are inquisitive. Don't sweat it. We'll keep them back. Who is the guy that wanted to speak? All I know is the man was a poor neighbor. That's all I gotta say. Try the other way. That's a playground. They really don't, they really just like disappeared, I guess. People are inquisitive. Don't sweat it. We'll keep them back. Hold on. Try Googling real quick. Uh All right, I guess there's not much information. Ah, crap. Forgot that when you alt tab out of this game, you got to fix the display. There it is.
Okay. Well. You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? Soup factory does. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. Parnell Soup Factory, 10.38 a.m. Right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over-seasoning the soup in this place. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. You just wanted a follower, didn't you? You <laughs> sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's roving eye. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. If you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Thanks, Doris. What is going on? LAPD. Sit tight, fatso. You could be in very <laughs> serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain why we found $5 bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got here. Any name on that list that rings a bell? Bruce. Familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Truth. You Fuck. must suspect someone, Mr. Parnell. Are you sure it isn't someone who stole some of my labels? That would be pretty easy to do. How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. Doubt. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble you're in? Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Knowledge of Cruz Never Brothers. Heard of Juan Garcia Cruz. Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. I'm using intuition. 99% doubt. That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. 
Inside Man, George Garcia. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. This guy's good at holding a straight face. You're being made a patsy by a dope ring, Parnell, and you're happy to sit here and let it happen. You want my help? I said I'd help. You want to call me names? You can go fuck yourself. We'd like to take a look around the factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. Yes, man. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Doing the questioning is literally the hardest part in this game. We're a proud company, detective. If something's going on, I want it stopped. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. <laughs> Why don't you keep quiet? I might learn something. Oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. <laughs> this is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. You're loving this, aren't you, Phelps? It's making me want soup. The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch area, if you don't mind. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Paul. 20th century What's market. What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Same one. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. it brings me luck. Factory sealed soup Do cans. Do you have access to the canning area? I do, but I keep to my station, loading and unloading, don't care much for soup. Doubt. Sergio, if you don't give me something, I'm going to go to immigration services and have you deported. I get a shipment once every two weeks. Ernesto does the driving. I don't know his full name. It's delivered here at night. Or he gets it canned up. From here, it gets sent all over the country. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. 
You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Blanca. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Both using the silver dollar. We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are brothers. They're cousins. They work with some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always on. You keep your mouth shut for today and I don't take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Is that a serious question? That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We nice. will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some common union types infiltrate this place. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. <laughs> Where's this car at? Other side. You know the way. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Uh, 20th century market. How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. Hollywood land. <laughs> you have any idea who Rojas was talking about? The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Rojas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Pacific Electric. 20th Century Market, 10.54 a.m. Let's take a look at what's going on. Hmm. Wait a minute. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B-Wagon at 20th Century Markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. LAPD, nobody move! I'll take my chances. Oh, great. Not today, boy. <laughs> Finally. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. If it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Another silver dollar. These silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. 
You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Hmm. Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Knowledge of EJ first. Okay. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run this shop. That's all I do. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The silver dollar. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. That's some good info right there. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. Tell me soup about shipments. the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. Doubt. The real funny wise guy. You want to try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. Continue. I was okay. already here. Ernesto knows I'm He's actually telling so the truth. He's to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, nice. Erto. I'll speak to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Speaking the facts. <laughs> Yeah, what's going on, Hoochie Mama? <laughs> How you doing? Barnell Soup Factory, 10 p.m. But he said 1 a.m. I guess we're like extra, extra early or something. Freddy said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local <laughs> Yo, what's going on? In the no. usual way. Through Pachuca 999 Street vibes. How you doing? Someone must know something about this drug baron. Yeah, I love this game back in the day. Here they come. It's pretty good. I mean, like, it's been so long since I played it, too. So, like, honestly, I don't remember much of this. Let him unload the goods first. Now? Let's get him. There I go. <laughs> Let's take the weapon. Does he got one? Oh, he does. Don't mind if I do. All right, move. Played through it five move. times, but when I was little, Let's I didn't go. take care of uh, uh, this, and now I can't play it. Oof. Got your back. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them. Throw out the guns. Go, get Dude, I literally can't. Oh. It's going to get really loud, boys. The 
game is for, for some reason very oddly loud. Also the just buy for the PS4. They do have the 4K version now. Where's this dude? All clear. I think that's the last be scared to play this mission because I thought they were gonna kill me and I would be on part on this part for twenty five minutes. <laughs> There it is. Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. Bring down a total of 30 bad guys with headshots. Nice. What's this guy got? His ID. Oh, and he's got a coin. Tijuana address. Ernesto. Federales have on it. Sea of Grass premiere. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. <laughs> I get that. I remember the last homicide mis mission being pretty intense for me too. God damn. I think we found our stash, Cole. Take a look in these boxes. What do we got? Oh shit. <laughs> At the very minimum another 50 pounds. Damn. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Can finish investigating first. So more clues around here. Not now, Phelps. Okay, okay. Walked out the search area. Maybe the truck. over while you're at it. One mission that I found pretty crazy was when someone was murdered in the car and blood was everywhere in my head. I was like, did someone explode? Yeah, I remember that mission. Uh, that was like one of the first like homicide missions that we did.
Alright, where is this guy? Maybe he's up there. Or where the hell is this guy? Tell me where he's at. I'm gonna try going up around this way. Oh, there he is, jeez. Surprise, none of them have like tattoos or anything. So I know it's a Rockstar game, but what kind of similarities does it have or share with GTA games of sorts? Or is it something completely original in the kind of game it is? Um, similarities would be like the gameplay. Um, the only thing that's like different though is like the dialogue selection and like driving and, and all that is pretty much like very similar um yet another silver dollar but no, the no, actual no. interviewing like quite a bloodbath and stuff is all about drugs where it kind of goes a different route Speaking of money, storytelling kind of similar to characters the similar owes me 50. ray i have another two coins for you great i've got something to show you it's all set up on the table over here there take a look at these coins you've been collecting there are letters cut into each coin. Oh one snap! With not legal tender. It's gonna be that. Um, Those are Morgan silver dollars from the twenties. Are we missing? They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? Ow. Oh. Mass. Whoops. It, that's what it's the the one card that we found earlier. Mass. Uh. Boom. The first coin M A S. The second A N G. The third K A Y. The fourth M E T. The fifth A L S. Masang K metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Would I ever? <laughs> 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. I'm gonna kill him. I used to shoot uh, next time, make, make it like the movies and how they miss with their gunshots and make it more intense. Yeah. That's like when you're... Uh, when you're chasing after somebody and you have to do the the shot in the air like when it aims at them and then once the circle fills then he takes the shot in the air to get them to stop i think we got everything here next up is this metals place <laughs> what did he do to his door can you drive to this one Fine, where are we headed? I love making them drive. It makes it a lot easier. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. It's your priority, Straight Phelps. <laughs> We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Sangay Metal Warehouse we need 1029. One sec. Alright, we're good. And that was a little first mission was so hard for me because I didn't uh, know where to go. I was low-key smart but dumb in video games. <laughs> I totally get that. I had a lot of issues too when I was younger, like when it came to uh certain 
like parts in games. Uh, let me turn the like no, not acceleration. I don't know if it's aim sensitivity that I need or a little bit better. It just feels like the game is so slow trying to move around, especially when you get in combat. All right, so we need to find a way into this thing. Looks like a potential way in. Got up here. Uh, I don't know if we needed to do that. No, that might be if you maybe there's another way on the other side. I hear like some metal moving or something inside the building. Here it goes. I see what's waiting for us at the top. Weapons on the ground, now! How to change shoulders. You know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? We have a asked. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. Hmm. Working vice can be a thankless task, Phelps. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. <laughs> what about Sanders, Lieutenant? <laughs> Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one person. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. Oh boy. Every herb bearing seed. There it is. Another one closed. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. 
We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Osakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. Oh, that's Courtney make... Sheldon. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Oh boy, the setup's the next one. Hold on one second, chat. I'm just gonna uh, get a quick drink and uh, I think I'm gonna eat a quick salad. So I'll be right back in like five, five to like seven minutes.